Welcome to Pipes Around the House. In this video, I'm going to show you how to descale the Tommy Tippy Perfect Prep Machine. So you'll know when to descale this machine because the indicator warning light will come on and this is the second light up from the bottom and this will say CALS and has this triangle with an exclamation mark. So before we start any of the process, we need to get rid of any surplus water that's left inside the machine. So to do this, I'm just going to turn the power off, unplug the machine and tip this out in the sink. So now when I plug the machine back in the wall and turn the power on, you should notice that you'll have two warning lights. The one is the descaling warning light that we just saw, and the other one is now just telling you that the machine is empty, which is perfect. So the next thing to do is remove your filter. You can do this by just holding the top. They do say you're not actually meant to touch the filter, so not to contaminate it. It's a bit difficult in this situation, but you just undo the clips, give it a little twist and a wiggle like that and it's out and just place that safely to one side. I'm going to place this back in the machine for descaling just to give this a clean as well. The next thing to do is get yourself some distilled white vinegar. We're going to pour out 500 milliliters of this into a jug and if you're interested in this vinegar I'll put links to this in the description section below. Then pour your 500 milliliters of distilled white vinegar into the perfect prep machine. You'll also notice now that this warning light to say the machine is empty has now gone because we've obviously got liquid in the machine. If we take a quick look at the side of the machine, you can see we've got three different buttons. Here we've got the CALS symbol with the triangle and the exclamation mark. We now need to hold this down for two seconds and this will begin the descaling cycle. Now you can use the same jug and just place that underneath the prep machine as this is now going to catch the distilled vinegar when we run it through the machine. So press that two seconds and that cycle has now begun. While the cycle is working it will periodically spurt out this vinegar and at the same time you'll notice the light is now flashing to say it's going through that process. This will take a good few minutes until it's finished and you can see that spurting more vinegar out again. Be patient with this one I'll be back with you in a minute. Now towards the end of the cycle you'll notice a continuous stream of the vinegar will start to come out. And you can see the light is still flashing at the moment. And there we go. When it's completely finished, you'll hear the machine makes a bit of a noise. Then we get two beeps. You'll notice now that the system empty light is back on. The calcium warning light or the descaling warning light has now gone out and the cleaning cycle warning light is now flashing. So the next thing to do is pour the vinegar down the drain. I'm going to boil the kettle, fill this with boiling water and then we're going to run the cleaning cycle. So now I'm going to fill the prep machine with boiling hot water from the kettle. So you'll notice now that the empty warning light has gone out because it's full of water. The temperature warning light has come on because the water that we've put in is boiling straight from the kettle. And if you leave it for a few seconds, you'll notice that this cleaning mode light goes out. So now we need to run the cleaning mode to flush the system of all the vinegar. And to do this, we simply hold down the cleaning mode button, which is by there, and we hold it down for two seconds. Before we do this, don't forget to place a jug underneath your prep machine. So holding that down for two seconds, and the cleaning mode will begin. As you can see towards the end of the cycle it gets very noisy. You get two beeps to indicate that the cycle has ended and the cleaning function warning light has now gone out. You'll also notice that the system empty light has come back on. Now we need to run the same cycle for a second time. So same again, just add your boiling water and then hold the cleaning cycle button down for two seconds. And the cycle will begin all over again. Now we just need to wait for another few minutes until the cycle's finished. So again, you can see that the cleaning function warning light has now gone out 
and the empty warning light has come back on. And obviously the temperature warning light is still on because it's hot inside the machine. So now you can place your tray back on, take the hopper out of the machine, holding your filter by the top, place it back inside the hopper, push that into place and put it back into the machine. Then we can fill the machine back up with cold water. And when you place water in the machine with the filter in situ, it does take a few minutes for the empty warning light to go out as the water passes through the filter slowly. You'll notice that the temperature warning light has gone out because we put cold water in rather than hot water. And then finally, once the empty warning light has gone off, you're now ready to make a bottle again. So we can place the lid back on and you're good to go. If you're interested in my other prep machine instructional guides or the products used in this video, I'll put links to those in the description section below. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon for regular notifications. I've been Pais around the house. Ta-ta, farewell. <laughs>